for the Baja Racer mini bike did 54 miles per hour with a 12 tooth clutch and a 70 rear gear. So now I'm wondering what an 18 tooth clutch will do on this bike. I'm wondering if it'll be too much gear with an 18 tooth clutch on this bike because it only has a 70 tooth rear sprocket compared to like a Coleman bike with a 75. And this tall tire, I'm not sure if the engine has enough torque to pull that. So I'm going to go ahead and throw an 18 on here and test the top speed. And then I'll use the gear ratio calculator to see the RPM of the engine. And if it's not enough, I'll go ahead and maybe drop it down to like a 15. And we'll see if a 15 clutch will outperform an 18 on this bike. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, put the 18 tooth clutch on this beast. Let me loosen up this uh, engine really quick. Because I know I'm going to have to back this thing up. There is no way there's enough chain, I don't think, for the 18 tooth clutch. I highly doubt the 18 is going to fit on here. And now, let me add a little bit of, add a couple links of chain. Uh, go ahead and pop the clutch on here, though. All right. All right, let me break this chain. And I will add a couple links to it. All right. All right, hopefully that does it. And got the 18 tooth clutch on this thing. Let's see what she does. She did 60 miles per hour even with an 18 tooth clutch. But that actually kind of tells me that that might be too much gear. And so the mini bike did 60 miles per hour even with a 18 tooth clutch. So that kind of tells me that's too much gear because if you look at the gear ratio calculator, it's only turning around 5,900 RPMs at that speed with this clutch, an 18 tooth clutch and a 70 tooth rear with that tall of a tire. So that kind of shows me it's too much gear. So I'm gonna drop it down to a 15 clutch. And that's equivalent to uh, taking off, or that's equivalent to adding 18 tooths to the rear sprocket. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add a 15 the opposite way. And we'll see if it actually gains speed because it's totally out of the RPM range to the engine right now. I'm gonna go ahead and install this clutch on here. And going from a 18 to a 15, it's from a, uh, 3.88 ratio to a 4.66 with the 15 so I think it'll pull the um, a gear I think it'll pull the gear a lot better with the 15. I think the 18 was just too much gear for this thing So I think it'll be a lot better with the 15. Maybe it'll have more top speed than, than uh, 60. We'll see All right, go ahead and cut Go ahead and cut this chain down, but I'm gonna tighten up this, uh, loosen up this tension all the way, that way I have room when I take the links out to tighten her up a little bit. All right, that's kinda, kinda loose, but what's cool about it, I got room on the tensioner for tightening, and then I got room on the uh, engine itself too, so in case I can't get it all the way with the tensioner. All right, I go ahead and use this tensioner to tighten up the rest of the way. There we go. That's all right. All right, let's go see what she'll do. Top speed's gotta break 60. speed 15 tooth clutch
fast with the 15 as it did the 18. It's a little bit faster with the 15 tooth clutch. It goes, it did 64 miles per hour, 64 miles per hour. 64 miles per hour with the 15 tooth clutch and a 70 on the back versus 60 miles an hour with an 18 tooth clutch on the front and a 70 on the back. So it's faster with the uh, lower gear actually. So that just shows right there, you can definitely have too much gear on one of these things where the engine just doesn't have the uh, torque to pull the gear. 